STEM has changed so many aspects of our lives. From the pavements we walk on, to the cars we drive, to the buildings we work in, we're surrounded by it. And yet, there's still so much to be done. As we all know, the COVID-19 virus has been going around the world for a while now, but now it has gone even worse thanks to the Delta variant, which is much more deadly than the original. In the U.S. alone, 40% of all food produced is wasted. Many nutrition-related illnesses like obesity and diabetes disproportionately affect food insecure people in poverty. Many families live in areas where no grocery stores are within walking distance. Up to 75% of adults in the U.S. suffer from chronic dehydration. We, as a society, use so much plastic to the point where there is a patch in the Pacific Ocean created by the tides, which gathered enough plastic to be over three times the size of Texas. According to the World Bank Group, the world generates 2.01 billion tons of municipal solid waste annually. It's reported by the Columbia School of Climate that 30 to 60 percent of the fresh water is used to keep our grass, our lawns green. This is a huge percentage of water, considering how huge, big California is. These coral reefs are home to various diverse forms of wildlife, including, of course, coral. However, all that gorgeous coral is in danger due to the extremely widespread phenomenon known as coral bleaching. Heavy metal, toxic contaminants, restaurant oils, grease, pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, solvents, household chemicals, bacteria, and even plant nutrients are all heavy contaminants that are found in storm drains and are very harmful towards our health air pollution, and deforestation. This is a much more profound problem than we thought. As we all know, climate changes have struck upon many communities, regions, and affect our everyday living, partly due to carbon emissions from fossil fuel usage, power plants, and many more variables, resulting in increased temperatures, increased amount of sunlight in local regions, and harsher living conditions. Over the past month alone, California has seen its fair share of fires. In 2021, as of the writing of the script, about 2 million acres of land have been burned from over 7,000 different fire incidents. So yeah, uh, California is just on fire. Creating solutions for everyone sometimes requires us to work our way up. By using principles of ecology, we can study the way that organisms will interact with each other. Most of our general well-being originates from the ecosystem of bacteria living in our gut. I would like to be able to help educate the people in our communities to improve their health by preventing harmful diseases before they come into fruition. Because I was granted the opportunity to research this issue in our community through the STEM project. This clip that you are watching right now is actually a clip that showcases my science fair project from my sophomore year in which I spent five months researching and developing my own material to help decrease the consumption of plastic. It was honestly quite a rewarding experience to be able to develop my own science fair project. And of course, the results. Oh, oh my god! Okay, well it's really bubbly. By using the science part of STEM, we are able to come up with many possibilities using our imagination. Now, most of this information I knew from prior experience during my science fair project my sophomore year of high school. For my science fair project, my partner and I decided to investigate possible remedies for coral bleaching. Although our findings weren't as conclusive as we would have liked, it certainly proves that STEM education can play a role in helping solve this problem. Educating the young and future generations to learn to take chances and branch out in ways about current STEM problems and capabilities, so they can one day have or build these technologies with their scientific knowledge to help improve current problems or future ones. STEM has made a major impact on my learning abilities throughout the past two years of my life. It has taught me critical thinking and learning how to prioritize. Being a part of STEM since freshman year has been such an amazing experience and has given me the opportunity to make a difference in following the pathways I desire. To raise the mentorship rates and overall progress in the STEM field for young students by providing community-based research programs led by professional volunteers. This program, if set up, would provide a key introduction into the vastness of the STEM field for many young students. 
In order to solve this problem, I want to use computer vision. Computer vision will be perfect for this problem because it takes information from images and conducts actions and performs based off of those images. It would be of utmost importance that we use knowledge in the field of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to innovate solutions for this dilemma. Education provides opportunities for all that seek it, just like students in my county and anywhere else. Our future looks pretty hopeful. I mean, today's teenagers are coming up with such incredible solutions, disregarding social, economic, cultural divides, and that can only get better. Years later, I invited Mr. Arthur to my research presentation in neuroscience alongside other scientists. He never realized the large impact that his kindness and encouragement has made on me. Sometimes being a teacher is a thankless job, but if you're able to touch one single heart, you may, you may never know how you might have changed the world for the better. While I may not have everything I need to complete this project in my head, I know that with the eSTEM community and the wonderful resources and people available, anything's possible. With the STEM education that is offered to the students, and not just around here, but across the country, we can fix problems like this. We can create devices to clean the polluted air. We can plan out areas to regrow and repopulate the lost vegetation. We can test and treat the air and water. This is only one of many problems. There are plenty of other problems, especially ones that are STEM related across the country. However, STEM education does bring in an opportunity to help solve those problems. And it all starts with you. It starts with you and your inspiration, your dedication. It starts with your willingness to learn and grow. Even the smallest idea can create the greatest change because it all begins within you.